All right, we are back and we are gonna continue making our haul tree coat hook. I don't know what I'm making here, but come on, part two. Okay, so I started on my last video putting up this board on my the, the entry wall when you come in my house there's the door and it's this big long like almost 13 foot wall on the left hand side so i decided to put this um, piece of molding up to put some hooks on it and make it kind of like a hall tree um, so i put it up last time and now i am getting ready to caulk it and even paint it um, i'm not putting the coat hooks on till after it's painted and dried because I just want to make sure, you know, as much as I can, I don't have to paint around those coat hooks, right? So, but I do have to caulk. So what I did was I put up some blue tape. Let me show you. Okay, so you can see the gap here. There's blue tape because I am not a professional and I want to try as much as possible to not have a mess of caulk everywhere. So I usually line it in blue tape and you can see, look at my little system I've got here. I've lined up chairs along the wall so I can just walk from chair to chair and caulk. That way I can hopefully keep kind of a continuous line there and get it done. So um, the only thing, I once I put the caulk up, I have to take the blue tape off and then come back around and I'm gonna caulk this seam too. Um, but other than that, it should be a fairly simple process. And the caulk that I am using is this caulk. I feel so like Charlie's Angels, right? Holding the caulk gun. But look, it is, I don't know if you can see that right there, paint in 20 minutes caulk. Because I'd really like to put the caulk up and start painting. Like actually get this wall done today, which is unbelievable. So um, yeah, so let me go ahead and get started. I mean, we're ready, let's do it. why I put the tape up now. <laughs> Let me show you. Woo, yeah, I am not good at this. <laughs> and you actually, I need to take this tape off immediately. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and peel it off and let it dry for 20 minutes. And that's, that's it. This is the trick for people who are like me and can't do the caulking neatly. It's gonna look great when it's done because I did this in the bathrooms and on windows and it looks amazing, it looks professional even though clearly I do such a bad job. <laughs> so let's go ahead and peel that tape off. is now done and clearly I'm not a professional as I mentioned 
several times. But it's actually, I mean, even if you look up close to it, now that I have taken the tape off, look. All right, so I've got you in kind of close and you can see it's a very neat caulk line, right? So once that is painted, it will actually look perfectly nice. So I think it is going to look good. Right, and e so even this gap, it is not perfectly like sealed to where you can't, you know, it's, you're gonna see the line. But again, I think when it's painted, you'll be surprised at how little you miss it. I'm not filling the nail holes, I'm gonna paint over them. I think it's just, you know, the best I'm gonna do. <laughs> Honestly, I think a hall tree can look a little rustic. I realize with the little curly Q kind of thing, it's, I don't know, I, this, is, this is kind of a traditional slash country mix, my style. And so I, there's a little bit rustic, a little bit formal, like me. So I think that's, that's kind of the vibe I'm giving. We're gonna go with that. But it's gonna look, I th really think it's gonna look good when it's done. We'll see. Anyway, all right, next step. That has 20 minutes to dry, the caulk, before it's paintable. So, but it's a huge wall. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with the trim on the bottom and paint. I mean, why not? Because by the time I get up to the top here, I think we'll be in that 20 minute zone. So why not? You know what I'm saying? Let's do it. Let's get, let's get the sophistication on the wall and see what it looks like. Let's do it. day two and you can tell <clears throat> by my ponytail by my no makeup by me wearing paint clothes which by the way I'm so sad that I ruined my Emily Gardner shirt however I'm keeping it and never getting rid of it so I'm just gonna paint in it but I need to get a new one anyway I love you Emily Gardner um you can see that I finished a first coat on the wall and it looks really really good so today in my dream world, <laughs> which I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's possible, but in my dream world, I will have the whole living room painted. Um, I'm gonna show you up close. This is just a first coat. It definitely needs a second coat. And then I'm gonna obviously paint white there, paint white there, and paint white there on that wall. Here's the deal though. Um, first step. See those curtains? I already took the blinds down, um, but I'm gonna turn you back to me so you're not backlit. The blinds have, um, you know, where they were attached to the wall. <clears throat> I have to pull that out and fill those holes. Obviously take the curtains down. I'm going to leave the rod up. I actually purchased a new curtain rod that I like better. It's bigger. But I tried to attach, I, I bought a matching set and I put, had one for this window and for the window in my family room. Well, I had so much trouble with it in my family room, still haven't put it up, that I decided this rod is up and sufficient and I'm just gonna keep it up and I'm going to just paint around it. So, um, so I just have to take the curtains off, fill the holes, remove the rod itself, but leave the, you know, the hooks up there. And then I can paint that wall. I also have to take off the covers for the outlets as well. And then um, this wall, which might need a little bit of sanding, but not much. Anyway, just a matter of moving the furniture away from the wall. But I don't really have too much in here, so it shouldn't be a problem. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. No time like the present. <laughs> but first I gotta mix some plaster up to fill the holes for that, because I'm gonna do that first and let it dry because my system is <clears throat> fill those holes well, remove everything, fill those holes. Second coat. Hopefully I only need two coats. If not, I'll do the third coat as well. Then, assuming that this is dry, 
I'm going to work on this wall and this wall. I'm saving this wall for last because what I want to do is tape. I, I want to let this brown dry as much as possible because I am going to put some tape on it. Usually I don't want to wait two days, but I can always touch it up if I need to. <clears throat> but I want to at least, I'd love to get a first coat on this. But I want to make sure I tape so I can get all the edges. <sighs> that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a hefty load for today. But we'll see how it goes. So, all right, we're getting busy. What? You mean you missed all of that beautiful painting time? Yes, you did. Because <laughs> I don't know what happened. I thought I had filmed all of the painting footage and maybe I didn't because when I went to pull everything off the uh, camera, the rest of the painting footage wasn't there. So alas, you missed that. But it took me at least two days <laughs> to do all of the painting just to make sure the rest of the living room was done and also down into the hallway which had to be painted white but yes it is complete the job is complete now it the whole thing took me probably about a week in total because i had some starts and stops you know different days i had to do different things but it all turned out so beautifully and i can't wait for you to see it so without further ado look at my wall y'all look at the wall isn't it so cute look i'm gonna get a better angle over here look at this it looks so good it looks so much better than i thought it even would really to be honest with you so you can see and i'm gonna get up close so you can actually see on the wall like i'm sure there's nail holes like you can see those nail holes and this is actually where I filled in that gap if you look really close but honestly if you do not look close you don't even see it it doesn't my picture look amazing right and so I decided we had originally wanted to put a pew down here and we couldn't find one well I had this it's actually a buffet that went with my dining room table right and um, it, that my original hall tree also matched it and I used to have the TV on it but I'll show you in a minute what's in the rest of the living room. And so we had these two chairs also that a friend of mine gave me. And I just, I love using this buffet to hold quilts. I just think it's the best use of it. And also I love having like this basket here to hold keys. This is just some like random thrift store stuff. Except for these flowers were actually um, faux flowers that were used for Brianna's wedding. So I had those and I was like, well, let me use those because they're the right colors. But doesn't it look so cute? I love it so, so much. And look, I even hemmed the little curtains. I know it's backlit. I'm sorry, but I just got to show you. I hemmed my little curtains for my uh, door here. But look, let's show you the rest of the living room while we're at it. Right? Look at how cute. So this cabinet was actually in Marquise's room. It was just used for storage in there. And so he's not there anymore. So we took it out and all of the rest of this, you can see I've got my spring decor pillows out, my little spring decor flowers. Over here in the corner is my beautiful rocking chair. You guys remember when I got that at Goodwill? I'll link it at the top if you haven't seen it, but that was such a great purchase. I just think it totally makes the room and it's beautiful. The dining room still isn't done yet. We still have things to hang and paint and, and do all of the things, but you know what, at least not paint, not, not paint, hang. Well, there's some touch-ups, but move and, and rearrange. This, this is still in progress, but this living room area, at least I think, is mostly complete, but this wall, y'all, this wall used to just be a big blank wall and I think it's so much nicer now. I wish I could look, I gotta get a better, better angle so you can see the whole thing. But look at that, doesn't it look amazing? Oh, it makes me so happy. Yay. I did that, <laughs> I did that, I did that y'all. I did it, <laughs> yes I did. So proud of myself, anyway. So I have a few more like little DIY projects. I actually want to take the leftover board that I used for that entryway and I want to actually put it with some of those other hooks that I had in my bathroom. I have a little wall there and I think it'd be good just to like hang like robes and things like that. Let me know if you guys want to see those little projects because I mean, 
you know, like I have a like really a few other just like tiny projects, but I I just don't know if it's like the kind of thing you're interested in looking at. So let me know what you think. If you wanna if you wanna see them, I'll see you about filming them. But I'm so happy that this one is done and it turned out so nice and my living room is finally ready. Ugh This house has taken so long, but you know what? All of the painting the major painting is done. Like I said, still some touch-ups, but it's done. I'm so happy. Mm. All right, well, that's it. I'm so glad you guys could come along with this project for me, with me. It's been a lot of fun. So anyway, you have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time.